Hello people, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about suicide. It's a bit of a sensitive topic, I realise that. And it's definitely going to be demonetised by YouTube because they don't like that kind of stuff. It's not good for advertisers, but I'm going to do it anyway because it's a topic that's quite, it's quite close to my heart. I've had quite a lot of experience with suicidal thoughts. I have it on a daily basis for the, to be honest, the past seven, eight years of my life. I'm about, I'm 21 now, so it was, it, I started when I was about 13 or 14 to have quite recurrent suicide, suicidal thoughts, and I've had uh, attempts in the past. So today I'm going to go through the main reasons why people um, commit suicide. I'm going to set, set it out in a couple of different points. This video is basically just a important um, set of things for you to try and regulate if you are suicidal, and it also give you some points if you're if you've someone that you love or someone that you're friends with uh, suffers with suicidal thoughts, and how to um, help them in, in those those key points and those key areas in order to make sure or help um, keep them alive, which is the the, ma the main important thing in this video. So the first aspect of suicide, uh, it usually comes from uh, pain. So this, when, when, you, when you're very severely depressed, your poor mental health manifests as um, actual physical pain. It's not like any sort of pain that you could describe in like other sort of terms. So you could, it's not like a physical pain that is very easy to locate where, where you're in pain, but when when you're severely depressed, uh, y your whole body just sort of feels like you're, you know, you're suffering or you're like bleeding out or something. But it's it's really difficult to describe. This is one of the main reasons why um, people want to end their life because it's a very uncomfortable thing. And the issue with it is that depending on how long you've had it for, and depending on how severe your depression is, um, the pain can be. It can it can interact with the the negative thoughts that you have about the future and yourself, and make you feel like you want to end it. It's just insufferable and it's prolonged and it's all the time from the minute you wake up to the minute you go to sleep. Sometimes it goes up and down in waves, but it's always there, and it's very difficult to to live with that. There is a crossover between chronic pain and depression. This is because it's sort of the same thing. It's sort of a withstanding long physical or mental pain that um, makes you feel like you can't do anything about it. And it's it's horrible and it impacts your daily life and your ability to do things, uh, your ability to enjoy things. Because even if you're having fun, you've still got that sort of background, dull, indescribable pain in your, in your body and your, your mind that you can't really get rid of. A lot of people who don't understand depression very readily, compare it with being sad. I can tell you that being sad is completely different to being depressed. Being sad does not give you that sort of horrible pain that you get with depression. Uh, sadness can also f feel quite cathartic, especially if it's, you release it and you cry. But with depression, it's, it's very difficult to cry because it sort of keeps you under a level. So if you imagine this being the level where you're going to cry and you're going to release it and feel good after and feel sort of cathartic about it. Depression sort of stays under that and just keeps prolonging itself for days and days and years and, and months and it can be very, very difficult to combat. But there are a lot of ways that you can combat this sort of physical pain. Uh, this is through things like exercise and, you know, laughter and socialising and distractions. So that those are sort of the, the main things that help you deal with that that pain, as well as um, psych psychiatric medications, um, or antidepressants, they can they can help a bit with that. Uh, not in, not entirely, but you know, it's from person to person, it may it may work very heavily for some people, and for other people, it may just sort of dull it down a little bit. You know, a lot of a lot of people who are depressed, they turn to to drugs and alcohol and uh, unhealthy ways of coping with it in order to get rid of that pain. The dopamine rush that you get from from drugs and alcohol and, and whatever sort of mitigates the pain that you feel. 
and that's why a lot of people turn to that but there are other ways of do, dealing with that stuff you know supplements and exercise and as i said laughter and stuff like that the next point is an issue with hope and is an issue with positivity when you've had depression for a long time uh, your brain changes uh, depression changes your brain in the short term when you have it uh, but if you have it for prolonged periods of time you sort of associate yourself with that that depressive feeling um, and a lot of the thoughts that you have the negative thoughts that you have about the future and your hope that you're going to get better and the hope that you're going to be successful and have relationships and friendships it can sort of be very ingrained in your mind because especially when you, you're suffering for a long time you have you, it, it sort of um, it's sort of self-fulfilling because you're depressed and you're hopeless about it so you don't do anything about it and then that sort of tells your brain because that you, you can't you can't get out of it and there's there's no point so ways to, ways to cope with that if you are depressed um, is to and I know I'm not going to say think positively because it's a very difficult thing to do when you're depressed and you can you obviously if, you're, if you've talked to people about it before and psychiatrists and counsellors they'll say try and think positively and it can seem very condescending but the main thing to do is to try and not mitigate those negative thoughts because it's very difficult to not, not do that but try and slip in a few positive thoughts even if it, even if it kills you to slip those little positive thoughts in there um, and try, try and like build up your your natural reaction to, to issues and life events um, by doing it on a regular basis and you can it can actually help um, a little bit with that another thing to do with that is making sure that you make promises the promises that you make to yourself you're going to do them um, so this means don't make promises to yourself and know that it's a very difficult thing to do and not do it because you're teaching yourself that you can't have control over yourself the other aspect of that is making sure that the things that you do are very are very small um, and they gradually increase and, and as your as your depression sort of alleviates and making sure that you do those things each time you do that you tell yourself that you can overcome it and that you can have control of yourself and it can make you feel a bit more hope in yourself a bit more confidence in yourself that you can deal with it and it's, it can be a very invaluable thing to try and try and learn to do um, especially with myself I've had a lot of times where I promised myself that I'd do these remarkable things and sometimes I achieve them because I put the work in and sometimes I don't and those times that I don't really not my confidence in myself and it can exacerbate a lot of the negative feelings about the future and hope and it's a very important aspect of why people commit suicide because obviously if they're, if they're gone if they're not alive anymore then they're not going to have all those those thoughts and they feel like that's the only way to get out of it because it's not going to go away because that's how they think and they think negatively and they don't have any hope about the future and it's, it's a very difficult place to be. The third point is, this is a, one of the big big sort of things is a belief in, in some positive things about yourself. Uh, this can come in many, many, sort, many forms. A lot of the time, a lot of depressed people, if they have that pain and they have the no hope about the future, there's there's something else that really keeps them keeps them from doing it, and that's a belief that them being around is going to be positive for the people around them. For example, if you don't feel good about yourself and you don't feel like your ending your life is going to affect people in in any sort of way, and you, you may even believe that if you kill yourself, it's going to positively affect people because they will have to deal with you or if, if you feel like you're a horrible person and you do bad things um, then when people and if, if people reinforce that and you know get annoyed at you and get upset at you it can really sort of exacerbate the, the feelings that you you'd be better off for other people and um, that you you weren't alive this is is one of the sort of last things that you need to kind of keep a check on uh, this is one of the things that other people can help with a lot. The way that, if, if you're trying to help someone who is suicidal, uh, the way that you can help with this is by telling them that they are a good person and that they can do things. These are, 
is called positive af affirmations. When you're depressed, you're very susceptible to um, other people and other people's opinions of yourself. So if someone that loves them quite a lot or is a good friend of them, uh, tells them they're a good person and tells them that they bring positive positiveness to their life and other people and you know if, you, if you're in a, in a job you can help people you know if you're a scientist or you social media or or media if pe if you if they believe that having them being around is helping people and people like having them around then it can put a stopper on their desires to kill themselves if you're suicidal yourself you can help with this as well an important thing to do when you're depressed is to try and keep up your morality and your view of yourself. You can't be going around doing stuff that's bad for other people. Um, you need to sort of try as much as you can to be um, sustaining and doing doing positive things like helping other people. You know, for example, with myself, I started a YouTube channel because um, I was incredibly depressed and in a very bad suicidal state and I felt like I wasn't helping anybody and I wasn't any good in the world and having that sort of mindset where having you being around helps other people and people appreciate you and appreciate the, the effort that you put in it can make you feel like there's a point to being around even if you don't enjoy life even if you're in pain so that's sort of the end of the video I'm just going to conclude it a little bit so it's sort of like a, a triad if you think about it you've got the reasons why people kill themselves the things that keep them around and the things that if, if they're not you know reinforced positively in, in each sort of section of the of the triad um, it can lead to somebody firstly being in a lot of pain secondly not feeling any hope not feeling like they could get better feeling like suicide is the only option and then the last thing which is the opinion of them themselves and whether it's good for them to live and whether people want them to live and whether they feel like they're, they're negatively affecting someone's life uh, the other people around them or positively affecting someone's life if you're trying to take care of someone who or trying to support someone with mental health issues taking into account that triad that those sort of three things and trying to alleviate that and trying to focus on that even the, just the last bit just the last bit about making them feel like they're worth having around can do wonders for people this is where, where support networks people come in talking to people who are depressed telling them that they can do it and they're worth having around and people are not going to feel positively if they die and it may seem like a very obvious thing to you but depression changes your brain very heavily and that sort of image of, of helping people and feeling like you bring you bring positivity and, and joy to someone's life other than yourself can keep people around as I said talk to people positively give them give them positive affirmations make sure that they feel like they are a good person and that they're worth having around and it can do immense wonders for you know suicide prevention I know it's been a bit of an intense video there's been a lot of videos recently about depression and, and suicide on my channel I realize it's a pretty heavy sub subject and not many people are, are very they don't, they don't particularly want to watch this kind of stuff um, but if you if you are depressed this is this is for you guys if you're considering suicide this is for you guys I know it's incredibly it's words cannot describe how horrible it is especially if you've been having it for a long time or maybe it's just come out of nowhere and it's really intense working on those things can help a lot and telling each other and, and sharing this video with people that you know can help a lot for you as well because they, they'll know what to do and not many people know how to to help with suicide they just turn to the normal things of you know think positively and you'll be okay and you know all that kind of stuff that doesn't really help so thank you very much for watching it's a little bit of a shorter video than usual i'm trying to shorten my videos down as much as i love talking on the camera and i love just keeping it in and going and stack it up the time on the camera and yeah i need to start fixing that stuff don't i <laughs> if anybody out there who is, is is going for a really rough time 
I'm sort of at the point on my channel where I'm growing, but I have the ability to talk to people individually. So if you go to my Facebook page, at Asperger's Growth, just like, just like how it is on the YouTube channel, um, you can send me an instant message and I'll try and help you as much as I can with that. I've got a lot of experience with it and I know what helps and I, I'll, I'll try my best and um, I do care about you a lot, which is why I'm making this video. I'm not going to make any money off this. It's just for that, that purpose. If you like the video, please do like it. Uh, it helps a lot with me and it helps me keep going and, and understand that it is a good video and people want more of this stuff. If you subscribe to my channel, you know, it's, it's growing quite a lot recently and I'm really excited to see how, how far I can take it and any sort of support, just a little click of the button would mean incredibly so, so much to me. Tell me what you think in the comments, let me know what you think of this video, did it help, did it ring true for you, um, has it helped you understand more about what you can do for people who are going through suicidal thoughts and ideation. And, and just let me know, you know, just stick them down in the comments. Thank you very much for watching, people. And I'll see you in the next video. See you later.